Y'all, I'm so excited to introduce Look at that. Look at world that champion heavyweight boxer, relentless layman Brewster, y'all. WBO heavyweight title coming up on your anniversary. <laughs> What's up? We're coming up on 20 years. Layman Brewster. Oh my gosh, such an honor to have you in the show. How are you doing today, my friend? It's been a minute since I've seen you. I know, right? No, I'm, I'm doing fabulous. I'm... I'm I'm feeling really good and you know it's just it's a great environment like just the vibe between you guys it, it makes me just in, in a really good place right now I, I really you. love the, the synergy here it's like well, you're part you of it. You guys are going to go a long you're way. Thank you. <laughs> We're so grateful. We're on ABC. Can you believe it? And we get all kinds of comments. People just say, we seen you at the bar. We seen you at the restaurant on Saturday nights at midnight. And so mm, yeah. you'll be seeing your face all over ABC mm -hmm. all, oh, yeah. and all the bars. <laughs> I just love the way y'all play off of each other. Uh, Thank you. Well, you know, it's funny because like the first like two or three episodes, we were kind of a mess. First of all, it's I don't belong in front of the camera. Uh, I belong behind the camera. So this is kind of a unique situation for me. But I was like, co host with me. <laughs> What could go wrong? Yeah. Well, you know. And he's a natural. Of course. He is a natural. Yeah. Champ, what is it like? Yeah. We mentioned tw coming up on 20 years. Yeah. Does it seem like it's been 20 years? No, it does not. <laughs> right. It does not. It, it, I can just tell you word for word <laughs> how I felt about it like it was yesterday mm -hmm. you know so yeah of well I, i've got a clip queued up here let's oh, uh I'm let, so let's, excited. this is moments before knocking out oh. uh vladimir klitschko yep. this is in vegas i believe yeah. and uh so here it is let's watch this for a little bit down hey Oh, he was knocked. Yeah. He's he he was out for a few seconds. Come he's on, like, he what? messed up. Yeah, yeah he got nope. it. TKO. Dang, he still is out. He's still <laughs> knocked out. He's standing up, but he thinks he's awake, but he's not. Look at you! I can imagine. That's so cool. I'm so proud of you, Liam. That's so cool. Wow, he needs to sit down. <laughs> Dang, how can you describe that moment? Just wow, all your hard work has just come to this one moment and you win this huge, like look at this belt, like this is incredible. How did that feel? I bet it's just amazing. I think I could best sum it up in a story. Do it. So I started boxing at the age of seven, but somewhere around the age of 13, it was when Sugar Ray Leonard had beat um, Marvin Hagler. And so... I grew up watching them with my dad, Sugar Ray Leonard, all, all those greats. Love right? it. Keep going. And so um, when it announced that Sugar Ray Leonard had beat Marvin Hagler, Marvin Hagler was my, he was like my idol because I couldn't, I wasn't good enough to be like Sugar Ray Leonard. But Marvin Hagler, he bought it. You know what I mean? So that was in my eyes. That was a man's man. And so at the, tw at the time when ESPN had announced it, I was sitting there and something just rose up out of my body and looked down upon myself and said, you're going to be a world champion. And so I, all through the years from 13 until I was 31 years old, I always prayed to God to say, let me be heavyweight champion of the world. Well, now I didn't always say heavyweight because, you know, I didn't know I was going to be a heavyweight. But over the years, it changed <laughs> to be heavyweight. So imagine repetitiously just asking God, over and over every day, right? Yeah. So I win the title, right? So you ask me, what does it feel like? So after I won the title, it took me eight months to quit praying to God to let me be heavyweight champion. <laughs> Was he like, uh, Layman, uh, remember? Uh, yeah, I'll be in the middle of a, I'll be in the middle of the prayer, and Lord, and, and, and let me be heavyweight. Oh, I am here too. <laughs> and thank you, Lord. Right, right, right. Thank you, Lord. So eight, oh for eight my months, goodness. like I like, cause I had done it repetitiously. You know what I mean? Like your whole life since yeah. I was thirteen. Yeah. And so it was like trying to, I guess, get off a drug. You know what right, I mean? Right. Yeah. Like, how, how do I stop? Yeah. Yeah. Where do you go I from there? That, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And God has just had your back, and that's awesome that you are just a believer, and that you know Jesus is the homeboy. I love it. And that's I mean, right. you <laughs> blessings. Like we were talking before the show, just about blessings and connections mm -hmm. and not only that but hard work which is what you've done you've yes. worked your booty off for that like yes. how what goes into a daily routine of i mean just training 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 right yeah so you know we would run in the morning and i say we my team because 
you know, my team to encourage me, they would get up in the mornings and run with me. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, so we would run probably like five, six o'clock in the morning. Oof. And, and then we would come back and, you know, you, you rest up, you eat and, and, um, you go back to the gym between maybe 11, one o'clock. And then you train there for another two or three hours. you you may be sparring, you may be hitting a heavy bag, you know, you, you may be doing hard calisthenics, but then you go home, rest up, come back out again. And then you go to the weight gym, you know, or oh you my. go swim or, you know, so, so it was like, I found that doing everything that I could do to say that I want to, to be heavyweight champion in the world. When I got in the ring, it took away all the fear I had of failing mm -hmm. because I've done everything that I knew I could do. Right. Yeah. Work so, your tail feather yeah. off. Yeah. And so that's what I try to tell these young men and these young women. That's why I started a nonprofit organization called Brewster's Place. And Brewster's Place is like a big brother program, if you will, but it yeah. consists of all of these world champions mentoring to young individuals on um on Zoom, you know. Wow. Yeah. And and so instead of charging these young individuals and their parents, because you know, everybody's struggling. Mm -hmm. Now what I do is I raise money to pay the champions. And so that's why I started the uh, the coffee and, you know, the water and whatnot. Seriously, I mean, this is everything, y'all. You need to check this out. Jason, you got the website up. It's right there. Um, this is amazing. The coffee is incredible. My mom needs, a, I'm going to send some to my mom. Um, she is big on that, you know, and, and there it is right there. And the water, y'all, and just... So those are two, the, the water and the coffee, those are two businesses that feed Brewster's Place, right? How yes. does that work? Yeah, so what I, what I do is I'm teaching young men as well as the champions to be entrepreneurs because uh, coffee, uh, it made $481 billion last year. Listen, and, everybody needs coffee. <laughs> in, in, every, in every country. And water. Yeah. Every country where they've started cracking down on drugs, you would notice that the coffee has started um, becoming more and more um, relevant in mm -hmm. every every city, every country, and so it's going to come to America eventually. So why not be the first? Absolutely. And so that's what I'm doing is I'm offering these young men chances to own their own coffee. You know, coffee yeah. entrepreneurs. You cool. Know? Yeah. I love it. So and you got the coffee, and then you've got yeah. this uh, this water, which I am a huge water drinker. Drink I drink about like a gallon so to a water. gallon and a half of water a day, every single day. No joke. So yeah. I'm. Uh, this is going to be my first taste. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> and what did you say before the show? You're like somebody, everybody. Uh, well, certain foods you can't really eat or drink that every day. Right. But coffee, everybody is every, eating. It, everybody's every, drinking that every day. Every time I was Never running, gets old. every time I was running in the morning, my trainers was always in the car behind me sipping coffee. You just can't even wake up without exactly. coffee. You can't even get through the day without exactly. coffee. The champions exactly. brew. How do you like your coffee? I like mine's um, strong. I like like real bold. black. Yeah, no, my mommy no, drinks no her sugar. coffee so black, black. Of yeah, course, you right? like it strong. And champ. Jason <laughs> loves his. Jason loves his coffee black. Yeah, you should see me with mine. It's got. It's kind of embarrassing. I had a lot of cream and no, sugar. You know, you I'm a baby. I'm a baby. <laughs> you wear pampers. I'm a baby at coffee. <laughs> you should see me. Like we're at flapjacks, and it's just like there's little creamers everywhere. It's a mess. No, we got a potty train. You. We got. I'm gonna switch over to your coffee, and that might change it's my like, mind. It's right? like it's like uh, cream and sugar with a splash of coffee. It's like yeah, half so. coffee, half cream. It's really not. It's embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, this is a Honduran Ethiopian mix. Very cool. It's called mm. Original Punch. Yes. Yeah. Oh, nice. I love it. <laughs> so, how does um, how does that championship mindset play into um, you know, these these things you're behind this charity, the the coffee, the the water? Like, mm. uh, what 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 skills, what mindset do you do you bring from that boxing world? So this is why it's so important for people to support Brewster's Place, because what I've done is I've converted Brewster's Place into um, a, a mentoring program using world champions, but they're teaching um, mental health. Um, uh, what is the word I'm trying to find? Awareness or just strength. Po so using positive affirmations. Right, how to get through each, it. Yes, each champion is teaching how to perceive life as a fight. 
Because see, school teaches you education, but boxing teaches you application. Right. And the mathematical equation is education without application leads to a life of frustration. Because if your parents wasn't hey. there or didn't know or you didn't have parents trying to give you that that how to perceive life, then when you go out into the world, you're going to be it's lost. Hard, yeah. So a lot of these young men and young women, they don't have application. Mm hmm. So that's why. So true. That, that is incredible. You're doing this for this community and for these young people. Right. I mean, truly, people people feel voiceless and they feel so alone when you're a teenager. I mean, if you didn't like, who is someone that just, you know, besides the greats that you mentioned, but like, did you have like a coach when you were a, t a, a youngling and you were just like, this person really was there for me mentally, emotionally, yes. and they, and they trained me yes. and they like taught me everything I need. Yes. You know, I mean, that's what you're doing out yes. here. You, you, so you gather some champions to teach these children yes. and these teenagers, not just one thing, but all the stuff yes. that is so cool because you know, uh, words are spells that's why it's called spelling yeah and so what we're doing is we're teaching them these affirmation words and breaking these things down from a a, a mental to a physical mm -hmm. why let's take opportunity how do you apply opportunity in boxing every time a fighter throws his jab Every time he throws his jab, he's he's throwing it for the opportunity to make an opening. Right. And so every time a person is applying for a job, applying for a school, applying for anything to help them take one step up, they're taking opportunity. They're throwing the jab. But yes. if you don't know when you walk in a room and you speak to somebody that it, it's either going to be a sparring session or it's going to be a fight. But if you don't even know how to hold your hands up, how would you know you're even being hit? Exactly. I was very intimidated when I was 18. I went to Los Angeles. I was in a room with all these lawyers, Robert Shapiro. I mean, all these guys. I didn't know. I felt like I was intimidated because they're using words that I couldn't identify with, but then I knew that Muhammad Ali, like he, he said that he used to read the dictionary. So I started reading the dictionary and then it opened my mind up. Now I can have a conversation with almost anybody. Yeah. And then people don't judge you. Oh, you know, because we just, that's who we are as people. When you speak to someone and they sound like, uh, the, the, you know, in the back of your mind, you kind of like, they a little silly, a mm -hmm. little, you know what I mean? Like right. stupid. Like, so it's all about perception mm -hmm. and it's all about respect. And I, I never want to ever be in a room again. And I can't hold a conversation with somebody regardless of what their degree is. You right. know, so and it, that kind of all comes down to those positive affirmations, too, where like you tell if you tell yourself enough that, you know, you believe in something, then you kind of can be you can be a good person exactly. and you can feel good about yourself. But if you're just a negative Nancy all the time, what what do we got? Oh, you get it. Jason, man. you were going to say something. I was going to say, oh, no, we are on a strict TV time frame. So Absolutely. we have got to do a soft cut. We're going to keep going on this uh, Thursday live stream time. if you're with us. We're going to hang out with Layman Brewster, <laughs> the champ. And uh, we're going to say goodbye to the ABC WRTV ah. broadcast. Renee, take us out. <laughs> Thank you so much, Layman Brewster, for Thank being on the show. Me. You're incredible. You're inspirational. Relentless. Everybody, check it out. Check everything out, and we thank you guys so much. Brewster's place, check everything out he has to offer his coffee, the water, water, everything. Yeah. And we are going to get this thing just we need to do some videos for all of it, okay? <laughs> and just get it out there more. Thanks. We love it so much. Thank you so much, viewers. ABC, we were we will see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye, ABC Bye. WR TV. Stay tuned on the live stream. All right, there's our little soft cut. Boom. We're still live on Facebook and YouTube and Twitch and Twitter and All Trovo. The things. Yeah. All the things. LinkedIn. But so. I just can't get over this belt. It's, it's so yeah. pretty. <laughs> and that picture of you is so fly. Let's get another. With the belt. Close oh, look at that. You. That's Shoo. good. Oof. I took all the hair off my head and put it on my chin. I love <laughs> it. If I, if I was a guy, I'd have a seriously cool beard. Jason grew right? a beard out for me a few times. Yeah. Never again. Um, and it was epic. Man, but I love your out. beard. You got a nice beard. <laughs> he did. Nice... Yeah, I, I liked your beard, man. Oh, uh, yeah, you were, yeah, I couldn't you do were it. around with the beard. Couldn't do it. It was too much. <laughs> it's too much for me. You know, like um, I was just thinking about the walk and everything it takes to, to just. I don't I'm know. glad you mentioned the walk. Let me pause you right there. Yeah. We can keep going, but uh, we're just gonna see. Well, <laughs> excuse me. Okay. We're we're gonna see.
a little bit of footage from uh, back when we were the first time, the first day I met you, nice. right before uh, a TV interview. Uh, Kaylin was there, but you were training David Roth, yeah. who was uh, one of the oh. two walkers that did the walk across America that re- me and Renee were a part of. We did a little mini doc. Yeah. Um, we were th- with him from the beginning, four months. Incredible, uh, w- right? Walking wow. across. Yeah. So here's a. Uh, there's a little bit of uh, footage here. There's David Roth. There's you, of course. Nice. And uh, you know, rap, you know, you're just kind of showing him. like, and Not that he was box, uh, boxing across America, but, man, he really needed a full kind of uh, regiment because yeah. endurance and stamina, like all these things to right. to literally walk 30-some miles so, every day. Right. There's right. Kaylin with that belt. Look how, Which look how big that belt Which is kind of what like, I was like leaning towards too it just with the walk and the way that you had to train for so long for your profession and just comparatively these two you know dudes you know just dudes. walking across america and just it i just i don't know how to exactly say what i want but to find the inner strength to do something so hard like keep training keep running wake up at 6 a.m and put all of that work in and, and like jason day after day working towards that and like me doing my music and just like the pain they went through walking through those 18 pairs of shoes walking how many miles 30 40 miles a day about 30 uh, yeah uh, give or take and uh, i like tried two to or three walk miles. with them layman i try to walk with them thinking oh i'm a young I'm the we didn't get trained right. by the champ That's we didn't get trained like... I, I made it like seven miles that one matters. time no. zero and my training body just gave out right. i have no idea how they did it. it almost seems like a miracle like unfathomable to me because i was so big-headed about it. like mm. i can walk 30 miles right. i'm i'm a youngling it's yeah, fine you're young. you know, of course <laughs> i didn't you like your coffee sweet and your uh, walk <laughs> my short my body just stopped walking it was like it was like i ain't going at a step like where's the it was like like you had to put the like the tin man (laughs) after like seven miles and there i hear walking 40 miles a day for four months i honestly cannot it's like it's like god like i don't really fathom how that even is possible you know like not, not that i don't you know what i'm saying but i'm just like just the willpower to do what you love and especially with the strenuous training that you've had to do in that regard like it's so cool i mean you had to probably push your just your body past your mental like you had to just mentally be like i got this even when you wanted to stop right so many times i bet you know uh there's this cartoon called naruto uzumaki yeah and it's he 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 was uh this spirit was put in him it was called the the nine tails and as as he grew the spirit grew inside of him and it, it really molded his life you know and even the people in his village was afraid of him yeah and so for me myself as i always thought of myself as a lion i was able to use boxing to control my inner beast but to guide me mm-hmm. and so whenever i would have these fights where this man is coming in there to try to take my life you mm-hmm. know what i mean like it's psychologically right. hard and right. so for me to just be able to have that 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 spirit inside of me to lead me right you know honestly I you have that. to and that's a gift right mm-hmm. like how but could you not it, though we right we do but it. you really have to be in touch with yours like you're yes. out here getting punched and beat around and stuff i mean that you, you know how you find it you find it when you're by yourself and you mm-hmm. stop talking and start the, listening to it. like like if you go into a room and you just sit no music or anything mm-hmm. maybe a nice incense or something like mm-hmm. i like to burn burn frankincense and murder yeah. but the point when I sit there, I can hear myself think. I can hear myself talk. Yeah. I don't think that we stop long enough to not look at the phone, look at television, yeah. you know, whatever. To, to spend a little time with yourself, hearing what you have to say. Absolutely. Yeah, and it's big. I'm telling you, because like I found out a lot of things about myself when I can just be alone. So you know, I, I I'll go outside with my dogs and. I, I'm out there by myself and I'm just listening and yeah. I'm just like, wow, I'm hearing myself Getting answering in, my own questions. In touch, <laughs> right, in touch with yourself. Yeah. Jason just actually found this thing and we've been doing it where you go outside once, usually in the morning, a day with your bare feet and you just kind of yes. let your feet yes. touch the earth and something yes. about, Jason, what is it? Something about the chemicals and it does yes. a little wiggly well, thing. Yeah, I, <laughs> I I always thought it was like, okay, are you wearing a copper bracelet too? Uh, I don't know about that one, but you know, the explanation I finally heard, I'd never heard this before, was that um, your cells, I don't know if it's specific cells, whatever, but they, um, they, they, they're, 
their magnetism it starts they start to bunch up so these cells are bunching up all over your all over your body and that's not healthy so going out and uh touching the earth with your foot it actually grounds you and it breaks up those cells and uh, which is healthier so that's the about the worst place that or uh, the worst way that could have been explained but it's something to do with that it's there's an actual scientific you know thing behind it well, having to do see. with the magnetic poles and how things uh, you know opposites attract and all mm -hmm. that so well, it, that's see. crazy well, no you listen, wouldn't even think you about broke that. that down my brother Boom. anybody <laughs> right <laughs> It hurt. I was like, the cells get bigger. No, man. But it's That's like you said, you got to spend some time alone with yourself, you man. Just to. with, you know, with no music and no no TV and no phones, right? Like, we get so involved with all of it. Like, you're, at the end of the day, it's just you. Yeah. So you got to be connected with yourself yeah. and have that self love. Andre 3000 said, every time I get it, he said, Every time I try to get a peace of mind, somebody try to get a peace of mind. Hey. <laughs> oh, that's good. People always trying to take it, take it, take it. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> you know, it was like, uh, so I think Don King had told me, because I was, I was assigned to Don King for many years when I won my world title. And uh, he said that uh, some to the, to the extent that he said, people stay up at night trying to figure out how to get your, get their hands in your pocket when you wake up. See, and you're just waking up. You didn't expect all this. No, you know. <laughs> it's true, right? Yeah, I mean, it's true. I, that's why I tell people it's not it's not even a thing of, of, of bad or good because good people do good things and bad people do good. Um, excuse me. Bad people do good things and good people do bad things. Right. But it's your deeds, you know, because I've had a lot of what the world would consider bad people really help me mm -hmm. to become who i became absolutely you know and then i've had a lot of bad I've, excuse me i've had a lot of good people who have tried to for whatever reason tear you down yeah yeah you it, know so so when i when you talk about bad or good you know good or bad subjective I, I, yeah, right subjective. <laughs> absolutely I'm, i get nerdy with it because i said that love has 24 degrees because you have a positive so you have a, a a zero to positive 12 and then you have a zero to negative 12. yeah and so sometimes love has to be cold mm. i agree with that it's not always just rose i think you know when you everybody you know you've been married a long time it's like it ain't all roses <laughs> <It's Preach. love. laughs> I, I just think love is beautiful very mm. dark thing sometimes you know what? it's not it's not always just so easy i mean it struggles and you know it's like it's commitment and it's but just, love is perception and that's yeah. not that's not explained because when two people enter into a relationship they should both be at least looking in the in the same direction they should both want the same thing to a degree out of it you know what i mean yes yeah and that's why so. a lot of relationships because a lot of relationships are built on lust mm -hmm. you know what i mean right like your feelings or whatnot but that's why they say to be a champ you can't go in the ring with feelings oh you gotta yeah, just I, be stone like mathematical I right i almost lost a fight because of i let my feelings get in the way i bet people yeah. are in there egging you on doing all kinds of stuff to get your feelings riled up oh yeah absolutely but i like those people because those <laughs> people give me the fuel you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah my my success ain't based on the people that believed in me my success right. is based on the people who said i couldn't do hey, it that I didn't fuels want them you. To win. yes <laughs> you know I what i love <laughs> is coffee coffee how, how did you so you use um it's a, a company here in indianapolis right the yes. tinker mm -hmm. uh, yes. how, how did that happen tell us a little bit about that story and how that um relationship or uh partnership came about sure so um that there, there's a, a a good friend of mine named michael crafton and um i was telling him that i wanted to get into the coffee business and i wanted to reach out to a company that was local and um i have found a company that is actually in the same community i grew up in and i was like no way and you know i'm indiana's first and only world heavyweight champion in history hey. And, hey. and then i'm like this is the first coffee company in 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 my neighborhood in history <laughs> <laughs> you are making history <laughs> that part so <laughs> i said you know what because I had asked God once I had created um, Bruce's place, like how how am I gonna fund this thing? Mm -hmm. Like I I I can't. Brewster's place, you're talking about funding, right? Yes. Yeah. Because that's the nonprofit organization that is is going to pay these champions to mentor yeah. to young individuals without charging the individuals to be you know take part. 
and you know all these world champions they have they have all of these these uh, stories of of how they became a champion so mm -hmm. It's based on them teaching their perception of life to these young men because perception or as I say application is not being taught in in right. in, in school you know in church or anywhere or where, some where families you... yeah depending on what your upbringing is they may just exactly. not have that available to them so think about all the young men out here and young women who don't have families right or don't have a tight-knit family you know everybody's working robbing peter to pay paul you right. know so when you come home your mind ain't thinking about well let me let me give them some knowledge you know what yeah. i mean and they're so talented but they lack that like you know i don't the stuff that your champions could teach them right. like like dry exactly. i don't know exactly. all the things application and, and those positive affirmations that they're worthy behind. and exactly. that they are they got this exactly so every affirmation is broken down on paper is broken down to a dictionary definition and it's explained in many different facets one is inside of the ring how this affirmation applies and then the other is outside of the ring how it applies but in in the mental set mindset of a fighter because everybody on earth is a fighter Mm -hmm. Why? Because if you've ever walked outside, put on a jacket, you was fighting a cold. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you ever walked up outside, about something. <laughs> if you ever put on shoes, you was fighting against rock. So everybody's a fighter, but not just a fighter. Now we have to find out what your mentality is because you can't train a poodle like a pit bull. And so what I've done is I've broken it down using mental health specialists to help individuals to understand who they are as a fighter. Because once you know your 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 mentality, that is what determines your style of fighting. A Mike Tyson would never stand straight up like a defensive fighter like a Muhammad Ali because that's not his mentality. Right. So what we teach is un individuals how to see themselves because we're asking them every day to to look at themselves in the mirror in their stance before you go out in the world because when you walk in the world that's what the world sees they yes. see the fighter that you are looking at they don't see mike tyson they don't see no they see you right so you have to get your mindset in the in the in the in the, in the focus that when you see yourself in the mirror you're going to feel good about who you are based on your mindset i'm not going to go out and try to be an, uh, an aggressive person when i have a defensive mind right. i'm going to be like a chess player i'm going to try to make my next move my best move because that's what a defensive player does you know so so helping people to understand their stance and their physical stance it has been mind-blowing mind-changing for these young men because at the end of the day nobody excuse me they don't expect the world to expect anything from them right and so i know as a young man i became successful because i knew people was was uh expecting had an expectation on my life mm -hmm. so what i'm trying to do through brewster's place is i'm trying to use these world champions to show these young men that we have an expectation on their lives see i'm not worried about the the the, the, the women even though the women get mentored as well but they get mentored with world champion women. Right. But I know if the men do what they supposed to do, as the Bible say, the sheep will follow. So the women are going to follow if the men get their act together. That's why the world is so out of place, because the man is not masculine anymore. You know what I mean? Y'all got all the jobs and y'all look better. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love it. It's like when it's like birds, like all the um what is it the male no the female no the male birds are all like just like Whoa, you know and then like the female birds be like what's up it's like what <laughs> kind of birds are you hanging out with no i just thought that was interesting mm. fact of nature random but i know i think uh, that's so cool so real, cool real quick check it in with that uh, giveaway because we passed our time we do a giveaway yes. every week and uh we, we we we're checking in here and it looks like we uh got a couple more we only hit 41 we want uh Wanna to hit, hit 100 before we give these cards away so i've restarted the giveaway and uh come on guys let's get to 100 so i can give another one of these away we got there's a couple ways to win one of yeah. which is the is the uh whoop, right there 
Just go to Facebook. You know, you can send in and screenshot it to Jason, um, or you can send your invite your to friends. all of them. How it, cool is this You know, show? it's the same if you send in or send it to all of your friends. It would help us Higher out. Higher percentage chance that you win a gift card. Yeah. And, and your friend is entered. Just take a screenshot, send it to Jason Aaron, if they, or send it to In The Loop Facebook page. They're entered if they uh, actually like the page. So I keep yes. track of them. I see them coming in. And if it's uh, beyond your... Uh, the numbers right there that I do a little bit of research, a little bit of digging, see who, who who invited him. So yes. either way, you'd be covered. So y'all need to make sure you check out the championsbrew.com. Is this where we can find all of our donations buttons yep. and everything we need to find about your coffee and your water and where to order it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Well, there's the Champions Brew. Uh, let's see. If you go... Do you have links to all those on... Um... Oops. Here we go. Where's that? There we go. Are there links to those um, products from Brewster's Place, or should they go to those other sites directly? Either or, with with whatever your preference is, because, like I say, portions of the proceeds are going to be able to mentor young men online, because we have to we have to start holding these young men responsible. Mm. They they need help. And, and so I'm trying to help them. And who better than world champions? Yeah, it's incredible. Like if I, oh man, if I happened to be wanting that title and I was a young little dude and I was like boxing yeah. and I had you or one of your champions come in to my life, like that would change my life. It, it really would. And that would set me straight mm-hmm. for sure. And maybe you could help prevent just awful you know um there's a lot of mental health problems and and especially you know just so many different reasons for mental health but people go through so much everybody is going through so much and so yes. certain certain kids really need some extra love and yes. need some guidance and their dream could just vanish really i mean they could give up on themselves they could quit I agree. Or, you know, they just couldn't have any opportunities or anything. And, like, you're coming along and just giving them that. And that's so sweet. It's such a powerful, like, impact on the community. Thank you. Thank you. And I just want to say to to that, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. Because if Layman Brewster would have had to pay to go to a boxing gym when I was a young man, I would have been out there in the streets with my friends. And I probably (laughs) would be dead or in jail. But because I was able to go into these gyms for free... Mm -hmm. It changed my life. I became heavyweight champion of the world. Woo! You know? Say it again. So, Say it again. So I became heavyweight champion. Of the world. Hey! But, but, but the point is, <laughs> but the point is, there are a lot of layman boosters out there, and nobody wants to give a buku of money. You know, we don't have that to give. And and so the thing is, is I'm just asking people. I am out here trying to do this work to help these young men, help these young women. All I'm asking in support is by a bag of coffee buy um the the pony water because what this does is it gives me the money to be able to go out into these communities it helps me to help them to get jobs because they need clothes yeah. they need a phone like i'm trying to do my part because remember if you say you believe in god remember he said that everybody's going to give account for their deeds not because you was good not because you was bad but right. because of your deeds when you stand before him and so i'm just saying i just want to know to myself when i stand before his son i can say i did everything i tried to do everything that uh he you, you told could. yeah and and yes. that that's all i could ask. that's all you know i can ask for myself you, you know? know i agree with you i think that like and i just I, I've always known you, obviously, you know, you got to believe in God to get into heaven. But I I just recently come to this feeling that it's like your deeds all add up in this life. And yes. maybe that is what, you know, of course, yes. you can be a good person. And, you know, it's just very complicated. But you just got to try to do those good deeds as many, like, like live your life by that. And just 100%. And always try to be a good person. Always 100. try to do good deeds and smile at strangers and help people and be nice. And This is the best right. possible uh episode i could have uh, strongly encouraged my family to uh, to watch so i they're, they've they're, tuning out, they're getting messages there so uh, i know they love your message champ and yeah. uh, we appreciate you uh, sharing your testimony i know Thank they appreciate so it too coming on the show no, today <laughs> Yes. I'm coming back. Y'all can't get yes. rid of me. Yes. You can't get rid of us. You can't get rid of me. You can't get rid of us, Layman. We've got the world. 
<laughs> We're going to hit up Yozo's all right after this. <laughs> Let's get it. And y'all, please make sure you check out the championsbrew.com. Buy some coffee, buy some yeah. water. Check out the site. There's donation button on there. We're going to get this up place. and rolling. He is just inspiring and just doing so many wonderful things with his community, with the youth, getting them, you know, these. Helping these, people and chewing bubble gum and he's all like I bubble just, gum. I just want to leave. Wow. I just want to leave with this. This is my saying to people. Tomorrow depends on what we do today. Yes. It's so right. true. Today. Long-term goals. Gotta live for today. Exactly. So, with that being said, thank you so much for being on the show. <laughs> yay, yay. <laughs> yeah. World champion, heavyweight, boxer, relentless, Layman Brewster. We love you. Thank you love so you. much. Check thank him so out. Much. Everything he has to offer, y'all. Thechampionsbrew.com. Thank you, Jason, for all your production and everything that you do. It's You're such do. hard work. Thank you, ABC. You're man, Jason. And ah, thank you to amazing. all of our sponsors and our viewers and the commenters. We love you guys. I feel like I'm giving my speech for the Grammy I'm practicing because I'm going to win one one day and Oscar and uh, all the other ones too so right. we're going to the top baby let's go all the way 100% all the way. 100% anything <laughs> less would be uncivilized exactly <laughs> thank you so much again and we will see you guys next time next time bye everybody <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs> live stream Thursday at 7 Saturday at midnight on ABC and 24-7 inside Indianapolis hotels.